Hello, my name is Gaurav Raj and I am here to talk about the hosting options for Business Central. Once you have decided for migrating to Business Central or implementing Business Central, the next obvious question is how the hosting should be done, whether it should be to a Business Central online option or it should be done in, in an on-premise option. Now, to decide that there should be and there could be multiple considerations that one should look at and I am going to talk about such factors today. The first and foremost being the IT infra and which is quite obvious this uh, challenge of IT infra maintenance management and the effort is non-comparable when you are doing an online uh, business central setup in comparison to a hosted uh, option in an on-premise option. The setup of an online business central might take just a single day however the same might take few weeks or few months when this is done on premises because it would involve procurement of hardware, software, licenses and much more. The next one being the disaster recovery and the backups. This is one thing which is generally compromised when the hosting is done on premises. Now when you might have backup set up however the disaster recovery is often not considered. This becomes a expensive uh, situation uh, and a business loss in case anything unfortunate happens. However, in case of online, you are much secure. So Microsoft or any uh, solution provider for the online is providing you the assurance of having your software protected. The next one being the licensing. Now, when we talk about licensing, the only thing and the foremost thing that comes into your mind is the software or the application license cost, right? That's what we add. However, you should also and one should also consider the license cost for server OS, the SQL server, for example, uh, the certificates, the terminal server and all those of those costs should be added when looking at the total uh, cost of license. Now, uh, that is how it would happen in an on-premise deployment. However, in an online uh, deployment of Business Central or GP, uh, what you pay is actually an, an all-inclusive uh, price for a SaaS a subscription of the application of Business Central. In addition to that, uh, there is uh, flexibility in terms of how many user licenses do you need to buy so basically you can add up to those licenses or reduce and there are no commitments to how many users should you should buy there's another point that on an on-premise business central you what you get is basically a perpetual license but there is a commitment in case of online there is uh, a SaaS model subscription based model of licensing however you have the all the flexibility with you to add or reduce the users. The next one is security. Now, it might be just a perception that uh, your data, your uh, server, your business central is much more secure when the setup is done on premises. Uh, in the recent cases, what we have seen is that uh, the on premise deployment are more, more. Uh, vulnerable to the spams and and virus attacks uh, and, and you know in the recent case uh, the customers who were on an online business central found themselves more secure and safe when a ransomware attack happened the next one is applying cumulative updates and upgrades uh, in case of an online business central deployment all your upgrades and cumulative updates are deployed automatically and uh, periodically so basically a user who is using business central online is always on the latest platform of business central and they're using the latest features which were released by microsoft on the other hand in case of on-premises uh, deployment this responsibility becomes the customer's responsibility and uh, which would require engaging partner the technical people and the consultant and it could be uh, basically a cost uh, for executing uh, or deploying cumulative upgrades and version upgrades. The next one we should consider is uh, the test and the development uh, instances and the environments. Once you have set up your business central, the important thing is to have an instance and an environment for the developers, for the development as well as the testing for the uh, UAT by users. Uh, 
so that your application can be enhanced from time to time based on the user needs. Now, what would happen in case of on-premises is that apart from a production instance, you would also need to set up a dev and a test environment, right? So what more is required is uh, for considering is basically the hardware, the software licensing and all those setups required for setting up test and, 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 and dev environments. However, in case of online subscription or setup for Business Central, what you get is not just the production uh, instance, you also get Sandbox instance, which is actually not just one, you get two instances. So basically, three instances you get by default when you, are, you go with the online option of Business Central. The ease of integration, uh, I would come, I would say that uh, the ease with which the integration of Business Central with the other Microsoft Stack solutions can be done, it is quite more uh, flexible and quick when it is done in case of a Business Central online setup. However, uh, it might be a little challenging and time consuming when this is done uh, for an on-premise Business Central setup. Uh, in fact, uh, it, some of the features uh, are not available in an on-premise uh, setup of Business Central and they are readily available and quite beautifully available in a Business Central online option. The uh, next one I am going to talk about mobility. Uh, mobility means uh, the ease for the users to be able to use Business Central in different kind of devices whether it is your browser, it is a mobile app uh, for tablet or phone and like that. These options are available in both kind of deployments and hosting options. However, um, the kind of uh, setup is required, there is no setup exactly it is required in, in an online version. However, in case of on-premise hosting, you still need to set up the uh, special services, maybe with public IP and certificates and all those things. So it is still better in case of an online uh, hosting option. There could be more factors and their pros and cons that one should consider while deciding upon the hosting options to know more uh, on what which of the hosting option would suit better uh, to your business needs connect to us and keep watching our video thank you